<laughs> this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Uh, I guess I want to make this do. Oh yeah, uh, we're making another Nerf gun video. I've done Nerf gun videos in the past where we've made a hydrogen powered Nerf gun, a propane powered Nerf gun, and a compressed air Nerf gun. But I thought, why don't we make a gas engine powered Nerf gun? So I got this piece of crap flywheel Nerf gun. So you take the magazine, stick it in. You rev it up, it has flywheels inside of it, and the flywheels shoot the darts. The reason why I had to choose a specific Nerf gun is because of this mechanism here, the, the pusher feeder thing that feeds the darts into the flywheel. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take these electric motors out, make some cool adapters to mount this Tanyan engine into it. It's a four stroke engine, it's really cool. I'm gonna start this thing up because I've never played one of these before. And then we're gonna make the world's first gas engine powered Nerf gun blaster thing. four-stroke engine it should be pretty dead simple famous last word this came out of the box and from all the reviews I've seen these engines are sweet they run pretty good Amazon link down below that I will probably forget to put there maybe maybe not and here we go Are you ready and then it stops running this I think this is a bad idea waiting to happen <laughs> so I have to cut this hardened steel shaft to make the adapter for my flywheel thing for the nerf gun however in my research online I could not figure out how to cut this hardened steel shaft but I thought the only way I could cut this in the past was with a dremel tool you needed a whole dremel to cut this like dinky shaft yeah I need to grind it down a little bit it's just I tried the the high you know the carbon cutter or carbide cut won't cut it but let's try it out here hold this camera I, I thought you were talking about like no. One of these. Yeah. This shaft is bad. We are we're going to test it. Terrible idea, but like really effective work? apparently. All Wicked. right. Cool. Let's go ahead and make oh. the rest of the parts. That lathe, awesome. I'm so glad I decided to mess with one of those things and get some skill, but basically what I'm gonna make here is a little doohickey that attaches to the flywheel of the stock Nerf Blaster. I'm gonna drill some screws here so I can mount it together, and then drill a screw through it so I can put a locking grub screw into the shaft. And man, this is, this is so cool. I now think of all sorts of crazy things I wanna make now, now that I've actually had a lathe. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make sure everything works because if it works right now, it means it's pretty much great. And I can just go and decorate the thing and make it look really cool. All right, I'm gonna just fire the Nerf darts with the starter motor first to see what happens. So I'm gonna run the starter and then pull the trigger, which will feed the darts. Oh, that's gonna work <laughs> great. <laughs> I guess it's gonna fire this bad boy up. Alright, this is idling shoot. Not beating. <laughs> well, they don't go that far. 
far. Hmm. <laughs> it, it just craps them out. It's about like, a, it's a little bit shorter than the original distance. I think I know why. It's because the, um, the RPMs aren't very fast. Like those little motors that come with this thing, they're very, very low torque. Like, because this is half a horsepower what this motor can deliver. The problem is it's half horsepower at the very, very low end. So it turns very, very low RPMs compared to the little brush motors that come with this, which are very, very high RPM, but very, very low torque. They kind of get through the darts because only a certain dart goes through a few seconds and their foam. So I'm gonna need to do something with either changing the, the ratio of the belt here or shrinking this down. So I'm gonna have to... Man, is that lathe cool. Second plug for the lathe. I just made this adapter because you know, this shaft is small and this doohickey is big. So those go together like that. And boom, look at that. You got a rotating doohickey on a shaft. Looking at the darts, it looks like they're getting chewed up. So I'm going to have to make a fancy gearbox to get the bottom roller to rotate. All right, Dave, check it out. <laughs> Turns out all I really needed to do was add the bottom flywheel. And guess what? It works amazingly now. It shoots, it goes all the way to the door. I think it's actually a little bit better than the stock Nerf Blaster. I have another flywheel launcher we'll compare it to in a second, but I'm gonna fire it up. <laughs> it works so good now. Oh no. The gear fell off. The bottom gear for the flywheel doohickey thingy finally, finally let go and fell off. All right, well, that's easy fix. I'll, I'll work on that and getting that thing back in there. But look at the it goes all the way to the door. It works amazing. So I've made the world's first gas internal combustion engine powered flywheel gun launcher thing. There's probably no rhyme or reason to do this. It's just really fun and stupid, but that's the name of my channel. Actually, no, it's named Peter Sheeple, but I do stupid, <laughs> I do fun and stupid things. All right, we are all done with the Nerf gun. It looks amazing. Ah, whatever, amazing enough, I guess. Enough for me. Oh, I gotta do one more thing, hang on. Do, do, do. Okay. Now we're done. <laughs> it's the internal combustion engine blaster. Thirty round mag dump. <laughs> Whew, that's amazing. Man, I want to do this really fast. Internal combustion engine nerf gun. It's it completely impractical and stupid, but it's pretty cool. Cool lighting, the lights are off. I'll fire up the engine in slow-mo. It'll make, you know, the engine spit. Like you'll see all this like moisture and like smoke.
pretty sure it's pointless. The Nerf guards don't really go a whole lot faster than you could with a conventional electric flywheel Nerf gun. I think we should do a quick range test compared to a normal Nerf gun. And uh, yeah, let's see if it's any better or not. So we have one normal, boring stock Nerf blaster. Runs off four AA batteries. This is how far it goes. Meh. That's a problem too, where if you shoot too many darts in rapid succession, the flywheels get bogged down and they can't resume firing at a further distance. Time to whip out the old Ice Blaster 9000. Okay, it's really not much of a competition. <laughs> this thing, much better. The reason why it can sustain that super ridiculous rate of fire is because it has a lot of mass in the flywheels and all these rotating bits and pieces. Plus this motor is half a horsepower. So, it's pretty good. Zero out of 10 as far as like close quarters combat because people are gonna be knowing you're coming through the room to you know shoot them with this thing, so. This would have been my first weapon of choice. But if you're gonna do sustained fire, you know, suppressive fire, so your teammates can run up and shoot the other guys with nerf guns, this would be an excellent suppressive weapon. It's also kind of scary, because it's got a, a little engine running on it, and it's really noisy. This has been a fun, dumb tinkering project. I love excuses to purchase equipment, such as like the lathe to build this thing, because I learn best when I'm just tinkering with my hands. That's why I'm happy to say KiwiCo sponsored this video. A lot of you guys have asked Peter, how'd you get so good at making things? Well, to tell you the truth, it just comes with a lot of tinkering and playing around, just like building this Nerf gun. KiwiCo makes these basic crates tailored around science, technology, engineering, arts, and the maths, otherwise known as STEAM. I love these kits from KiwiCo because everything you needed is in the crate, including extras. Once you complete your projects, they even have supplemental information in the books to modify your project and to learn even more. The KiwiCo crates are neat and streamlined versions of what I do now and in my childhood. Look at me, I'm a rocket scientist. <laughs> Rather than having to make multiple trips to the store or just forgetting things in general, I mean everything you really do need is in these crates, such as the battery to run this robot and the baking soda to launch this rocket. Check out Kubico, they have crates for all ages and they even cover all the topics in Steam. Give the gift of learning and DIY fun by going to kubico.com slash and get 50% off your first crate today. Well, there you have it. Another Nerf gun that's really weird and really impractical. Actually, this is probably my least deadliest Nerf gun, unfortunately. We've had a ton of other Nerf guns that I've built in the past. If you want to see, here's like the air compressor one, which will put screwdrivers through two by fours. The hydrogen powered one you can check out. The steam powered one and the propane powered one, which is probably my favorite because it does this. But yes, this is probably the noisiest, most impractical one of the bunch, but it's extremely cool and it did give me a chance to play the lathe and test out some of my hand-turning skills for some aluminum. If you guys have any suggestions of what kind of other Nerf guns you want to see, or you know, other novel propulsion systems you want, uh, let me know in the comments below. That's it. You can go away now.